I just wanted to let you guys know that I ordered so much stuff from Sephora that this is the box it came in. It's enormous. <laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to film today's video. I'm going to be showing you all of the goodies that I picked up from the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. I kind of feel like the VIB Rouge sale is my Super Bowl. It's only once a year where they offer 20% off everything in store for VIB Rouge and VIB members and 15% off for Beauty Insiders. There's also another VIB sale in April, but that one's only 15% off. This is the only time you can get 20% off anything in Sephora. And as you know, Sephora can be really, really expensive at times so that 20% off really goes a long way. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you everything I got from the VIB Rouge sale. Guys, it's a lot of stuff to the tune of about $1,300. Now, before you guys judge me too harshly for spending that much money on makeup, $1,300 was the retail value of everything that I picked up before the 20% discount. And then I also had a mitt full of Sephora gift cards that I've been saving all year. So I asked for them for every birthday and Christmas and anytime somebody gets me a gift, I'm like, please gift card to Sephora. So I actually didn't end up spending that much money. I used all of my gift cards, but I got a ton of stuff and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So just before we jump into this huge Sephora haul, I just wanted to remind everyone of the giveaway going on in my channel. This is the final week to enter the giveaway. I will be picking a winner on November 17th. So you can go search back on my channel and find the huge subscriber giveaway video. All you have to do is leave a comment on that video and be subscribed to my channel and you're entered. And if you want bonus entries, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of the information is in the description box of that video. So go check it out because it closes on the 17th of November. And then please stick around on my channel because I'm going to be having another giveaway for the holiday season. And that giveaway will have three winners. I'm super excited to be giving back to my subscribers again for the holiday season. And if you look very, very closely in this video, you might see a few sneak peeks of that giveaway. All right, guys, let's stop blabbering on and get into this haul video. This is gonna be really long because I have a lot of stuff here. So you need to go get a snack, get a glass of wine, settle in. If you wanna see all of the goodies that I picked up at the Sephora VIB Rouge sale, keep watching. All right, so let's get into some skincare first. The first thing I picked up from the VIB Rouge sale are these Shiseido facial cottons. Now, if you're like me, you probably think, what the hell, it's just a facial cotton. How can one facial cotton be better than the other? Why would I pay $11 for this package when I can go buy some at the dollar store for 99 cents? And I sort of think the same thing, but I have heard some really good things about these facial cottons, that they're so, so soft and that they're like better than your average cotton pad. So I really wanted to try them out with my current skin skincare routine that I'm doing right now. I have a fairly intricate skincare routine right now because I'm trying really hard to combat my rosacea and get a few breakouts under control. So these were a recommendation on a number of beauty YouTubers VIB recommendation videos. And so I really wanted to try them out. It's $11 for a package of 165. So it's not as if these break the bank in any way, but I was picking up a whole bunch of stuff. And so I just decided to throw these into my basket as well. But I will let you know in the future what I think of these facial cottons and if they're worth the 11 dollars or if you can just buy the normal cotton pads from Walmart. And the next skincare item I picked up from Sephora is this one. This is the SK2 Patera Essence Set. So the first thing that comes in a set is one of their facial treatment masks. Now apparently these are supposed to be absolutely amazing. They provide radiance, they add moisture to the skin. They're supposed to be really really good. So I'm probably going to save this for a special occasion because it looks really fancy. The next thing that comes in this set is the actual essence itself. And apparently this stuff is supposed to be really, really good. It's supposed to combat dullness. It's supposed to reduce redness. It's supposed to just overall balance your skin and just make it sort of luminous, radiant and dewy looking. So I'm anxious to try it out and see if this is actually worth it. And then the last thing that came in this set is this facial treatment clear lotion. You're supposed to put this on a cotton pad and spread it all over your face and neck before moisturizing or in place of moisturizer. Now I'm super dry, so I probably will use moisturizer moisturizer in addition to this but apparently this is a really really good skincare brand and I just wanted to try this out and I figured the Sephora VIB Rouge sale is the perfect time to do that because I got 20% off this set and even with that 20% off it was still kind of a hit to the wallet but I am desperate at this point for really good quality skincare that I can incorporate into my routine that combats my rosacea that combats dullness 
that doesn't leave my skin feeling super dry and just gives me a really radiant luminous base that I can put my makeup on. So I am gonna incorporate these products into my skincare routine and I will let you know how it goes. All right, so let's move on to primers. The first primer that I picked up from the VIB Rouge sale is this one. This is the Benefit Professional. This is a tried and true primer for me. I really, really love it. It actually does go a long way to blur my pores. I tend to use it only in this area, a little bit on my chin, a little bit between my eyes and above my brows. And then I go in with a moisturizing primer on the other areas of my face but I really love this primer. The only thing is it's like really expensive. So I was waiting until the VIB Rouge sale to pick up another one because I do have a lot of primers in my collection that I was using up, but I thought this was a perfect opportunity to restock on an old favorite. And the next primer I picked up, I'm really excited about because I actually haven't had this in my collection for a long time. This is the only primer that I used to use when I was first getting into makeup and I really loved the way it made my skin look. And this is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I really love this primer because I feel like it's the best of all worlds. It provides this luminescence when you put it on your skin that sort of peeks through your foundation and gives you a really radiant, healthy glow, but not too glittery or anything like that. And then the other thing I love about this is that it's not quite a silicone primer, but it's not quite a like slippery, liquidy primer. It's right in the middle and it has this beautiful whipped formula, which really feels great on my skin. So I really wanted to go back and try this out again because I haven't used this in probably more than a year and a half because I've been trying so many different primers and foundations. So I thought it was time to give this one another try just to see if I still love it as much as I used to. So I will let you guys know. So now moving on to foundations, there were a number of foundations that I wanted to pick up during the sale, but they were out of my shade. So these two that I picked up, I was able to get in what I think is my shade. It's very, very hard to shop for foundations online because I tend to think that I'm pretty good at guessing my skin color, but then you never know when you get it home and you look at it like, and you actually start putting it on your skin if it's actually going to be the shade that you need. So the first foundation that I picked up, I'm excited to try. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. And I got mine in the shade Sateen 05. So what this says on the box is that it's flawless, medium to full coverage that lasts all day. It's creamy and blendable texture for luxurious comfort. And it has stay true mineral pigments designed for all skin tones. Another thing I think is interesting about this foundation is it has SPF 20, which is like a very high SPF for a foundation. I don't really need that right now because where I'm living, it is the dead of winter already. And it's going to be the dead of winter until like the middle of March next year. So my skin's probably not gonna be seeing a lot of sun. So I don't need any SPF for a very long time. But just looking at the shade in the bottle, I think this is gonna be pretty good for my skin. I plan on using this in a full face of first impressions of high-end makeup that I have planned. Once this haul is all finished and I do my full face of drugstore makeup, I'm going to be doing a full face of high-end makeup as well. And I'll try this foundation out in that video. The next foundation I picked up from the sale, I'm so excited to try out. And that is the Fenty Beauty Pro Matte Filter Foundation. I feel like I've seen a lot of reviews for this foundation on YouTube and I feel like it's been almost universally liked so I am so pumped to try it out. Looking at the bottle again it's very luxurious, really really heavy frosted glass bottle which looks really nice and just looking at the shade in the bottle it looks like it's going to be okay for me. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a full video dedicated to this foundation. I'm very, very excited to try this out. And so if you wanna hear my thoughts, I will do a full video on this one. All right, so now moving on to beauty tools. There's a couple of things I picked up from the sale. The first one is just a Sephora solid brush cleaner. I ran out of my old one and so I wanted to pick another one up. And then another thing I picked up in the tools category is this. This is the Beauty Blender 2 BB Clean Set. So I always try to get beauty blenders during the VIB Rouge sale because they tend to be really expensive and I have not found a sponge that works for me as well as the beauty blender with the exception of maybe the Real Techniques one. But for me, nothing compares to the beauty blender in terms of like how soft it is and how well it blends the foundation out. So I really, really love beauty blenders, but they're freaking expensive, they're like $28 and I seem to go through them pretty fast. Um, so that's why I also wanted to get this kit, which has the blender cleanser in it because I've just been using like, you know, regular brush cleaner or my Mac brush cleaner to clean my beauty blenders. And I don't feel like they're getting super deep cleaned. So I wanted to try some different things to clean them with. So I decided to get this gel. I've also heard that you can use apple cider vinegar and olive oil and all of these different things. But I'm gonna try this first and I'm gonna see how well these beauty blenders can actually last. I do clean my beauty blenders about once every two weeks or whenever it looks like they need it. But I don't know if I'm too rough or what, but like 
chunks of the beauty blender seem to be coming out like when I'm cleaning it so maybe I just don't know my own strength or maybe I need to use a different cleaning product so that's why I got this because it was a really good deal for the two beauty blenders as well as this cleanser and then this next item you guys oh my god I cannot believe I actually bought this this is the Tom Ford bronzer brush this bronzer brush retails for $134 for this for this bronzer brush 134 bucks and I have to be honest, like when I pulled this out of the packaging and I looked at it, I don't know what I was expecting, but just for $134, I was expecting it to be like this huge, massive, like special thing. And these were supposed to feel like, you know, angel hairs and I don't know what, but I have to say I'm a little underwhelmed by it. But when I read the reviews of this product, everyone in the reviews were saying like, this is the best bronzer brush ever in the entire world. It's amazing. You have to have it. It's so good. And I've seen so many beauty YouTubers using this brush on their channels and apparently everyone loves it. So I have to kind of see what the hype is about. So this will definitely be put to the test in my full face of first impressions of high end makeup. This is about the highest end thing that I will ever own. I cannot believe that this is so expensive. $134 for this brush. I mean, it is really soft. I have to admit that. I don't know. $134? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see if it's worth it. We're not even halfway through. All right, we're still on the face. So the next thing I got is the Fenty Beauty Invisimat Blotting Powder. I've heard a lot of really, really good things about this product. Apparently you can use it as a setting powder and then you can also use it throughout the day to sort of blot away any shininess that you might have. And apparently it works really, really well and everyone's raving about it. So I decided to pick it up. It's stark white, so like you can't really see anything. And then it comes with this little pad that I'm probably not gonna use because I also picked up the brush that goes with it. So this is like a little add-on accessory that um, fits right onto the bottom of this thing. So it looks like that. I was a little underwhelmed with the brush. Like it looks kind of small and cheap and at first I was really pissed off because I was like, this is the absolute worst thing in the world. Like how can you actually put this on there without the bristles all bending down? But it does have this little silver extender that goes over the brush so that you can put it back together. So that raised it a few points in my eyes, but I don't know. I don't think the brush is not absolutely necessary. I think that you could probably find some cheaper on the go brushes that you can use with this. But since it was the sale, I just thought that I would pick it up because it's something that I've been wanting to try. So that's the Fenty Beauty Invisimat Blotting Powder. I am going to use this as a setting powder in one of my future videos. So you will be able to see how this baby performs. And then the last face product I got, I'm really excited about, and that is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Setting Powder. I absolutely love my Just Peachy palette. And this was another product from that peaches and cream line that I really wanted to try I absolutely love the packaging of this that is so cute and it is really really pretty this packaging I love the gold it just feels very luxurious and I like having stuff like this in my collection another thing I love about this powder is when you take the lid off it actually has a um, cap on it like that so you don't actually like with some of the other powders like the Laura Mercier translucent and the Kat Von D locket setting powder they don't have that so when you take the lid off the product kind of gets everywhere especially when you're traveling and it vibrates in your suitcase the powder just completely goes all into the lid so I really like that it has this permanent cap on it so that you can close and protect the product like that and then Oh, it smells so good. I feel like I always say that whenever I open my Just Peachy palette or anything like that, but these products smell amazing and I love the scent of peaches. I'm such like a, a fruity scent lover, so. Mm. So I'm very, very excited that I picked this up and let me know if you wanna see this in a first impressions video as well. Okay, so let's move on to eye products. You guys, eyeshadow is my kryptonite. I don't know what it is, but like, I have so much eyeshadow, more eyeshadow than I will ever be able to wear on my eyes for the rest of my entire life, and I still constantly buy more palettes. So I bought a couple of new eye products, I'm gonna show them to you right now. So the first thing I ended up getting I needed, and that was four of these Anastasia Single Shadows. The colors that I got are the ones that I need to replace the broken shadows in my custom Z palette. So if you watch my October favorites and disappointments video, you would know that one of my disappointments was the fact that my Z palette got broken somehow when I was on my trip in South Africa. So four shadows really, really busted up badly. And so I replaced them. So this first one is hot chocolate and this is a really deep, dark, warm brown color. This is actually meant to replace my Mac Embark shadow that broke. I just thought while I was on the Sephora website, I might as 
as well pick these up since I was gonna get 20% off. So this one is gonna replace that shadow in my Z palette. The next one I got is Noir, and this is to replace the MAC typographic shadow that broke in my Z palette. That black shadow breaking all over the inside of my Z palette was a major disappointment and so, so, so messy. It got all over my other shadows and I had to very, very carefully clean the tops of my other shadow pans with rubbing alcohol because that black shadow got everywhere and that was so brutal. Then I got this one and this is in the shade Henna. This is a beautiful blazing glittery fire red and I absolutely love it so much and it was heartbreaking when I saw that it was broken. Um, it seems to me that the glittery shades are the ones that tend to break up in the pan first. So that was really disappointing, but I got a replacement shadow for that one. I absolutely love that color. It reminds me so much of um, the color Blood Moon in the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. So if you're looking for something similar to that, pick up Henna by Anastasia. And then the last eyeshadow that I got from Anastasia, I was really excited about. I was gonna pick up um, a shimmery purple color because my Makeup Geek Whimsical shadow was another one that broke. So I was looking for a shimmery purple and then I saw this. This is in the shade Vermeer. Now you guys know that I love the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia and I was shocked to see that this color Vermeer is on its own in a single shadow because that is my favorite color in the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. So I was like, what? I didn't realize that they were selling this color individually. So I just, I have so many purple, shimmery purple eyeshadows in my collection that I was just like, ah, oh, forget it. I don't need to replace Whimsical. Let's get this one instead. So just so you guys can see, this is the Modern Renaissance palette and Vermeer is this shade right here. And so you can actually see that I've dug into it quite a bit and it definitely has more of a divot than the other shadows. So it was really, really good to see that that shadow's on its own because there's a lot of times where I'll just reach for this palette and I'll use Vermeer as a beautiful all over the lid shade, but I won't use any other colors in the palette when I'm doing that look. So I did want to hit pan on that color and have it be completely gone and then the rest of the palette was like barely touched. So I'm really happy I found that color on its own. It's such a beautiful beautiful all over the lid shade. It's a really beautiful sort of pinky champagne shimmery color. Gorgeous. I actually used the Modern Renaissance palette on my eyes today. So these are the colors that I have on my lids. I used Buon Fresco right here and then I mixed it with a little bit of Love Letter and then I have Vermeer all over the lid and then I put a little bit of Macroflex Pearl Glitter on top of it. So this is an excellent palette. If you don't have this one, you need it. Huh. This is weird. There's a Just Peachy Mattes palette in here, but I already have one. Hmm. And weird again, there's a Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette in here, and I already have one. Very, very strange. So the next eye product that I have in this haul is actually from the Sephora Friends and Family sale. So that happens before the VIB sale where employees of Sephora can give 20% off coupons to their friends and family. I'm in this super secret Facebook group on Facebook and one of the awesome chicks that's in it is actually a Sephora employee. So she posted in the group saying, hey, does anyone want a friends and family card? And I was like, oh my God, me. I did not have all my ducks in a row yet to get all of this stuff during the friends and family sale, but I did wanna pick up this one product really badly. It's expensive, so I wanted to get 20% off and that is the Natasha Denona Lila palette. Now you guys know I love Natasha Denona shadows. I think they're incredible and I have wanted to try this palette so so badly but I have not stuck my fingers into any of these shadows. But look at these. I can just tell that those shimmers are incredible. Like oh my god. And so I have a look in mind to do a first impressions with this palette. I was going to do a full review of this palette, including swatches of every color and then a makeup tutorial, but I've had so many ideas for videos lately that it's been difficult to actually fit it in. But let me know if you guys wanna see a full review of this palette, including swatches of every color, as well as a makeup tutorial, or if you just wanna see me use it in my full face of first impressions of high-end makeup. I have a really fun tutorial in mind. As soon as I looked at these colors, I saw this one, this one, and this one, and I thought like I could make a really, really beautiful, like colorful sunset smoky eye kind of thing. But I'm really excited to use this palette. Like oh, just this color too is like a purple and green duochrome flash, like, oh my God. And these shadows are so amazing. They're so pigmented, so blendable. I love Natasha Denona and I cannot wait to try this. So I really have to sit down and film that video soon. Let me know what you guys wanna see. So this next product I'm really excited about, this is the Smashbox Shadow and Highlight Palette Set. So you get two full-size cover shot eye palettes as well as a travel spotlight cheek palette. So these are the three palettes that you get here and then you get like a sticker thing. That's kind of not my style, but 
Um, I was just thought this was an incredible deal. Like I have really had my eye on the Ablaze palette in the Covershot Smashbox line. And I think that one was like $36. And then this set was $48 and you get two palettes as well as a highlighter palette. So I'll show you the insides of the palettes. This one is the Ablaze palette, which I really, really like. Look at these shades. Oh yeah. Gorgeous warm tones. I, I just absolutely like live and die for these colors. Anything like warm reddish brown or anything like deep berry I completely die for I just love them so much so when I saw this palette I was like yeah I need this so let me know if you want to see a tutorial using this one the next one is the sultry eye palette and I also like this one a lot too I of course love this like beautiful like dark purple shade in there but there's lots of really really nice colors in there as well as nice shimmers um, so I'm anxious to try this palette out as well. I think it's really really pretty and the next one is the spotlight palette And this is called pearl and you get three sort of I guess travel size highlighters I've never actually had a spotlight palette from Smashbox So I don't know if like this is the normal pan size or not So just looking at these colors I already have a lot of highlighters in my collection and I have highlighters that look exactly like these shades Especially in my Nicole Guerrero glow kit So I'm probably gonna be throwing this particular palette into my next giveaway not my holiday giveaway, but my next next giveaway after that. So I just, every single time I get a product or I pick something up and then I look at it and it's not maybe what I totally thought it was or I think it would be great to give away to my subscribers, I have a little box going. It's actually right here beside me and it already has four products in it. So um, this is gonna be the fifth one going into that next next giveaway. So that'll probably be sometime in the new year. Um, so be on the lookout for that. But I do have a lot of makeup to try out for the very first time. So you might see a couple of first impressions videos coming your way on my channel. And then the last eye product that I picked up from the sale are these Natasha Denona Crystal Chroma Top Coats. I'm actually really, really excited to try these because they're sort of like a shimmery topper for your eyeshadow. So this one is in the shade Peach and it just looks really, really beautiful. I'm actually gonna swatch these for you. So um, they actually do have like a pillowy consistency. Oh, that is so pretty. So it's just like a, it has a little bit of color to it, but it also has like a little bit of a sheen to it. So I think these are meant to either be worn alone or you can wear them over top of your eyeshadow. And then the other color that I got was nude. Yeah, so you can see the nude one is a little bit more brown in color and then the peach one is a little bit more orange in color, but those are so shiny and beautiful. So I'm really excited to try these out as well. God, I just wanna try everything. I wanna try everything right now. I wanna film 20 first impressions videos right now so that I can try all of these products out. All right, wine break, we're getting close. So now moving on to lashes. The first thing I picked up was a new Better Than Sex mascara. You guys know I love this mascara so much. It's my absolute ride or die. And this struggle that I've been having between the Lash Paradise and the Better Than Sex, I've actually found that my Lash Paradise mascaras dry out a little faster than the Better Than Sex ones. And I also wanna see if one lasts longer than the other. So I'm gonna try and use them simultaneously to see ultimately which one is the better mascara and which one is going to hold the coveted place of ride or die mascara in my makeup collection. I also picked up a couple of lashes. These are the Velour Silk Lashes. Now I absolutely love the Velour Mink Lashes that you can get directly from the Velour website. So when I saw Velour Lashes were going into Sephora, I was really, really excited. My favorite, favorite, favorite style of lash from Velour is Wing Women. And I found out when I reached out to the company on Twitter that those lashes had been discontinued. <laughs> So I'm so sad because I love those lashes so much. But what they said to me was in their reply, they said, okay, go to Sephora and buy the ones called Magic Touch because they're very similar. So I did just that. I picked up these lashes in the style Magic Touch. And I have to say, they're not the same. Don't get me wrong. These look very beautiful and I think I'm going to love them, but they're not the same as my beloved Wing Woman lashes. So I am now on the hunt to find a replacement lash for those Wing Womans. But just on first glance at these lashes, they look very, very fluffy and really beautiful, feathery. I think they're going to be very, very nice on the eyes. So I'm excited for that. I always get a little bit scared when I see lashes like that are this long in the package because <laughs> I'm just worried that I'm going to look like a drag queen or like look like I have spiders resting on my eyes. But we're gonna try them out. And then the second style that I got is called Lie Detector. And so these ones are a little bit shorter than Magic Touch, but they're a little fluffier. So there they are. And 
They're again, very, very fluffy, very gorgeous. So I'm just gonna show these two to you side by side. So there are the two lashes side by side. This is in the style Magic Touch and this is in the style Lie Detector. So they look really pretty. All right, so moving on to highlighters. The next item I picked up from the sale is this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Highlighter. This is in the shade Vanilla Quartz. Now, for some reason, they don't have Vanilla Quartz in a full size, at least not that I could see. And I really, really love this shade, but it only comes in this tiny little one. I was looking to buy the full size and couldn't find it. So, but this looks like a really, really pretty, pretty highlighter. It's nice and light. It looks exactly like vanilla. Like it sort of has a creamy tinge to it. And I'm just gonna swatch it actually. That's it there, wow. That is so pretty. I really, really love the Becca highlighter in the shade Pearl. What I will say about Becca highlighters though is they break so easily. I broke my Opal and I broke my Pearl and that's only from them dropping once. So you have to be really, really careful. If you're gonna buy Becca highlighters, especially in these little components, you have to make sure that you're really careful with them because they bust so easily. The product just completely crumbles in the pan. But this is just a really, really beautiful shade. I love that. Pearl is a little bit more icy white, and this one is a little bit more like sort of a creamy yellow white. So that is so, so nice. I love that so much. So I'm really, really excited to try out this highlighter on my face. And the next item I picked up for highlighter is this one, and this is the Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. Now I was actually asked to review this. Shout out to my girl, Haley. And this is a gorgeous set of four highlighters. Now, when I first opened this up, I have to say that I was very, very pleasantly surprised. I don't have any of the Anastasia Glow Kits with the exception of the Nicole Guerrero one. So I don't know what I was expecting, but these pants are enormous. Like that is a full size highlighter. So I was very, very happy because I didn't think it was going to be this large. And then the next thing I was really surprised about with this is that these pants actually come out. So you can actually mix and match your highlighters or if you use one up, potentially you could like go and buy the single from the Anastasia website. I don't know if they sell these individually, but they're really, really beautiful shades. And I was just really happy with the packaging and how these components come apart. So there's four highlighters in here. So Marshmallow, this one is like, I don't know if you can see that because of my ring light, but it is a really beautiful vanilla highlighter, but it actually has a little bit of a green tint to it. This one is called Gumdrop and it's pink with sort of some gold reflex in it. This one, Butterscotch, gorgeous looking gold highlighter, like wow. And then this one, Starburst, again, gorgeous looking pink highlighter. So I'm very, very pumped to try out this palette. These highlighters look gorgeous. And I'm so excited that I have my first glow kit. Okay, so we're down to the last item. This is the last thing I picked up at the VIB sale and this is a fragrance set. This is YSL Mon Paris. This is a really nice YSL cosmetic bag. It actually says uh, YSL Beauty down in the corner here and it has a YSL on the zipper. But when I felt this, I was kind of like, mm, okay. You know, this is a gift set and you get a full size perfume as well as a lipstick with it. So when I saw this on the website, I saw the perfume and I saw the lipstick and it looks like you get a full size lipstick with it. So I think it was like $117 for this size of perfume, the lipstick and this, and I think the full size of the perfume is around that cost as well. So I was like, okay, this is great. Free cosmetic bag, free lipstick, and you get the perfume as well. So when I opened this up, I felt this and I was kind of like, eh, okay. And also, as you can see, it gets a little grimy, so it has fingerprints all over it. So this is not something that's gonna stay like really pristine. And then when you open it up, you do get the perfume in there and it comes in this very beautiful box. It is such a beautiful bottle and I've been looking for a signature fragrance, as you guys know. And this is just, oh my God, this is such a beautiful perfume. I think it smells so feminine. It's floral, it's fruity, and I really like it. It's like right up my alley for fragrances. And I just think it's so pretty. So you do get that fragrance in there. And then I wanted to see the lipstick. So I saw this and I was like, oh, awesome. You know, and then I'm unrolling it, unrolling it, unrolling it. And this is the tiniest lipstick I have ever seen. And so I opened this up and I'm like, are you kidding? It's like so tiny. It's like not even the size of my pinky. Like, it's the tiniest lipstick ever. So, I mean, I don't know. And the shade, I thought it was gonna be like a bright iconic red and it ends up being like sort of a neon pink. 
I don't know if I even want to swatch this because I can't see myself ever wearing a color like this so I might just throw it into another giveaway or something like that but yeah super disappointed at the lipstick that was included in the set because it's so small like oh my gosh but anyway it doesn't really matter because the lipstick and the cosmetic bag were more of a gimme and what I really paid for was the perfume and I'm so so happy with it it's so beautiful and feminine and gorgeous and it was such a good recommendation by Cheryl so thank you very much Cheryl and that is it you guys that's everything that I picked up at the Sephora VIB Rouge sale be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys picked up at the sale and as well let me know what products from my haul that you want to see me use in a future video again don't forget to enter the giveaway that I have going on on my channel right now that ends November 17th there's tons of great goodies in there including a highlighter from Fenty Beauty the Tatched Luminous Dewy Skin Mist a Tarte eyeshadow palette stuff from Colourpop Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter there's tons of great goodies in that giveaway so make sure you head over to that video leave a comment subscribe to my channel and that will make sure that you're entered in to win and of course you saw a couple little hints as to what's going to be happening for my holiday giveaway in this video and as well I'm going to be posting giveaways all the way along on my channel because I love giving back to you guys. So please stay tuned to my channel and stay subscribed and you will see lots of giveaways in the future. And as always, you guys, if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below letting me know the kind of videos you want to see me do in the future. And if you didn't like this video, keep that shit to yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Cheers.